Ben. <laughs> oh, I guess it's Jack Four. Why is it X? Cross platform. It was not. I'm pretty sure this one was on. They at least later put it on the PSP. They put the whole Jack for it. Well, no, that's only the one, too. I guess that's Three. technically cross platform. I don't know if I'd count that. I think there is. No, I mean just like on Microsoft and Nintendo and such. That's not what, cr cross-platform, that is what it means, is when it's on multiple, never once. Ooh, new scared cats. Uh, Dead Birds is a movie that is only scary. Yeah, I, th I th can't tell if that's supposed to be a compliment or not. Wait, I already loaded my profile. Make sure my... Oh, excuse me. Heck yeah, the 69's across the board. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. I still need to beat the Grand Prix um, for the first, the Red Eco Cup. But let's, let's warm up with, uh... Let's warm up with, like, a race. This... Is a jungle track, my boy. Freeze rally, sure. Ah, the greenery takes me. That back. works for me. Use the eco well here, or you um, won't see the next sunrise. Let's keep using the basher. I got the tip last time that the basher is the best, and it's like, yeah, it handles so much better than all the other ones do. Drive fast, or you'll uh, be let's, ruined yourself. Yeah, let's crank up the engines. Get a little turbo. Be good for now. No accessories yet. Let's do it. Let's do it. Another big race. We've got a green light. There we go. You're too slow. Oh yeah, I got it. Turbo it up. Ah, I remember this one. Got to make a lot of real tight turns. Woo! I have not played since I streamed this last, so warming up with this and then we'll probably get into the Grand Prix after a couple of warm-up races. Because like the Grand Prix, I can get that first one pretty easy, but then um, there's that city one that really messes me up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woohoo! Power slide. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did a donut. Flip me. Oh! Okay. I guess I busted it. Busted open. Hard way. You know what that means? Basically, uh, being busted open means, like, basically bleeding because you got hit so hard. But often in wrestling, it didn't really happen. So hard way is when uh, it does actually happen. Like you just actually get hit so hard you didn't blade or anything. Uh, it happens sometimes, but actually if everybody involved is like doing the moves correctly, it doesn't happen that often. They'll definitely get bruised up and whacked around, but like getting a contusion, like getting hit so hard that it actually like breaks your skin is pretty difficult. Your skin is pretty, pretty resilient. One last finish. There was a, an ongoing joke in a uh, in um being the elite, where Matt kept like cutting lines and stuff because he he'd go and like put ketchup all over his face, like oh jeez, I got bust, I gotta get into the bathroom first, guys. I'm like oh jeez, go for it. <laughs> it was just like the fakest looking shit ever. <laughs> Which is pretty good. I gotta catch up. I'm like so far behind. I'm like a hundred episodes behind on Dark. I haven't watched Dynamite in like almost a year. I like watched ones here or there, but it's like, man, I don't know. I don't care about like this Christian Cage guy as much as they seem to want to push him. 
Dan Housen's on there yet. They've been teasing it because he got let go from Ring of Honor. They, like, broke his contract. Or they ended his... didn't renew? I don't remember exactly. But he's not with Ring of Honor anymore, which is good for him. Ring of Honor is unfortunately, like, the lower tier. They still pretend like they're an indie show, even though they're owned by Viacom. Which is dishonest, but at the same time, Viacom is not giving them very much money, so they do have the budget of an indie show. Nonsense, considering Viacom could absolutely afford it. Yes! Ah, uh, finally. I had so much trouble getting this that. Yes! Gold! Wasn't even trying that hard that time. Nice! I guess when I'm not, like, super focused in and, like, getting tilted... About a new front fender. Hey, thanks for the new front fender. Uh, what am I missing? Spar uh, there's a recent Spargus? This is a death this race. Is a death race. It's sure, all let's about do the getting death the kills. Race. Keep moving around the track to get higher scores per kill. The more drones you can What's take out, the happier like? I'll be. Just remember to avoid being a target yourself. Uh, take a hit, yeah, and like you'll that. lose valuable Lift. time. Uh, oh yeah, I should actually see if I have enough to tune. Yeah, let's get some more turbo. It's pretty useful. Whoops. This is a racing chip. Get back in this there. Get back in there. It's there cool. it is. The interface is just so weird compared to most modern games. Gentlemen, start your engines! Ah crap, I missed the timing. You gotta hit it, like, as soon as it goes... Yeah, it's, uh, in Mario Kart, it's, like, slightly... Hit the wall! Yeah, slightly after, basically, as the two is fading away, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Um, and then, uh... No crash team racing, I'm sure it's different. But then with this one, it's like apt as soon as the start bell goes. Which isn't too hard to time. Like, already, that's basically what you do for ADR. It's just oh, and then wherever the fourth beat would be is when you start talking. So that's what they do for like dubs and stuff. Or like ADR, which is just a form of dubbing. Um. But. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little tricky over. Once I figured that out, I've been able to get a little more consistent, but... Yeah. How to remember to, like, keep on the R2. Really easy to forget. Get over! I gotta figure out... Figure out the charity marathon stuff as well. I know, I can't find confirmation that Banjo Kazooie will be on the Switch this month though. So, I might have more time than I I was gonna do Extra Life, but now I'm thinking like, I was reading up on uh, Wits for Kids and stuff. So, like, that would actually be. Because, like, everybody donates their hair, which is good, but that's only, like, 30% of the cost. They need to be able to ship stuff and distribute it. They need to be able to pay people to do stuff. Over, you can't buddy. work off the total volunteer stuff. Um, but, yeah, if I did that, I would probably cut my hair to donate it at the end of that stream. It's, like, an hour thing. So get donations for him and, and then do that, which is, you know, good, because I'd want to document it regardless. Here's a little hero hell. It's gonna be a long process, because like to do what we basically have to get separate my hair into four ponytails and then take the little hair rubber bands and just go every couple inches and like tie it off again. So just that will probably take a while. 
Got a lot of hair. Gold! See? Again, I wasn't even, like, paying that much attention to it. I don't know. Maybe it's also them fresh. A new hey, new bumper. That's true. All right, I've finished off Spargus. What's left on Crass City? Loading docks. This is a this Another is a death, death race. Death, death and it's one of the crowd's favorite events. Another the object of death this race. isn't just to race, but also <laughs> to take out as many other cars as you can before bumpers. time runs out. You get points for each vehicle kill. No, it's not pretty. But you've got to do this to qualify for later events. Oh, I guess Just right. This one doesn't have keep shooting. Remember, you'll earn higher points in bumpers. each lap. On your second lap, you'll get double points per kill. And on your third, triple points. So it's best to race fast and get to the higher laps. Of this race is fast and about, eat folks. grass. Just like the cows do. We've got that green light. Ah, crap. I was definitely too late on that. This one as well. I've actually raced this particular track enough times now that I feel a little more confident than the first time I did this. Which is usually the case, right? It's like the first couple times you're like, Ooh. It's the same with music. Like, the first time I play a song, I'm always super sloppy, but after like two or three tries, it's like, oh yeah, I remember this section and that section. A lot of songs are like, you know, they'll have repeating sections. And then they'll have, you know, like the bridge, which will oh. Which will be its own thing. But for the most part it'll be a lot of the same stuff over and over. You feeling this? That's one thing I don't like about at least the uh the composition of Megal Ooh. Megalovania that they that they have on uh Simply Piano. Is that because the song repeats, their idea is that they just do the intro twice. God, that wasn't even the correct way to go. I'm a fool. So yeah, the end of the song is just the intro again, and the intro is already two repeating sections. And like, they're pretty tricky when you're first starting out, but now I've done it so many times, it's like, I almost know that by heart. Whereas, like, a lot of the inner sections, which are the more interesting ones, are the ones that I end up needing the most tr practice with. Oh. I sank. Rip my car. Rip it right. Give it up. Confuse what differs this gun from the standard gun. I don't think there is anything specific, but I can't say for sure. Oh, hey, and I already got gold on this one too. On the um, Beat Star, the rhythm game app I've been playing, it's like you can get up to five stars, which basically means that you don't ever break your streak. Um, which includes just like getting it great, because it's like it's like okay, great, or no, it's it's great, it's perfect, and perfect plus. Yeah, so if you ever do a great, that breaks your streak. The perfects and the perfect plus work out, so to get the five stars, you have to have a perfect streak. You can maybe break it, like, once towards the beginning or the end. If you break it in, like, the middle, you're kind of screwed, um, because it, like, it does the multiplier and everything. But once you get five stars, there are higher levels than that for if you can get, like, perfect plus over and over win again. and stuff like that, and it's like, ugh, I can't. I can't even imagine. Although similar to piano again, it's like I had a ton of trouble. I had a ton of trouble uh, learning a lot of songs, like with the rhythm early on. But now, when I go back to that, like if they add a new song in like the earlier sections, I'll go back just so that I have a three star on it, and I can like 100% rhythm almost all of those now because I, I'm just so used to much faster stuff now that the like slow, simple ones I can really hit it. So this is practice, I guess. Wait, no, that's not. That's what I want. Alright. 
see you at the finish line, buddy. I can't wait to get All right. the Stardew Here Valley board go. game. It's out for delivery right Tap now. Whenever the FedEx guy comes around. Whoa! I was seeing a list. I was reading a list um, that was like the top ten most best games to play to relax on a I don't know, one of those listicle websites. But it was like on Switch. And then if the first one, the first one, Stardew Valley. Everybody always says that. They say it's they call it a farm simulator and they call it relaxing. And it's like, I don't know what game you guys are playing, but Stardew Valley is not relaxing. It's super stressful. You have like no time to get anything done. And so like Whatever. even if you're just focused on one task, it's like you have so much to do. No! You gotta keep your farm together. You gotta focus on like the time. It's like it's a super stressful like strategy game. Well I guess, yeah. I, technically you could take it slower, but it's also like if you're playing it, why would you not be doing everything that you can do? Even if you're just trying to get... Well, okay, even if you're trying to get, like, a spouse... Oh. You no. said it, yeah, I hit my cutter. It's getting crazy out there. Like, that is super stressful because you gotta be able to give them gifts, you gotta figure out their route, you gotta uh, be able to grow their gifts, or, like, buy them, I guess, in some cases, or mine them. Like, even just that task has so many layers of other stuff that you gotta do that you gotta be on the ball if you wanna do it at all. I suppose, yeah. Bubba cry. Yeah, or the, the, the calling it a farm simulator, because I already saw that happen with um, Harvest Moon. Everybody thought Harvest Moon is just a, a fun little, like, farming game, and then they, like, play it, and then they, like, lose immediately, because it's like you have basically a limited amount of time to do everything, so if you want to get married, you want to have a successful farm, it's like you got to immediately run out to the mountains, start, like... Scavenging stuff to sell for money so that you have money to start up your farm. Whoop. Hold up. Work thing. So it's like... Yes, it's the same thing where everybody's like, I don't want to play it, it's just this chill thing. It's like, no, it's, it's really not. It's actually very exciting and it takes a lot of thought and clever planning. So... Same with Stardew. Like, Stardew is clearly based on a thing like Harvest Moon, with, like, some key differences, but, like, it's... Like, you can play it to relax because it's a little more open, but if you want to, like, get the full thing out of it, it ends up being, if not stressful, at least, like, pretty active. It's not something you just turn off, turn off your brain and just mosey around. Meanwhile, on the other end of the list, we had Pocket Camp, or not Pocket Camp, uh, New Horizons, which it certainly off. is. That's a way more relaxing game. Uh. And similarly, that's one where it doesn't really matter how long you take. There's no, like, specific times. All it does is do different events, which you can participate in. But, like, real, real chill time with that. Um, and, like, there is technically, like, an end point in that when you get KK to come to your island, and when you get your island to five stars, you never have to do that. I still haven't gotten my island to five stars, but I'm fine finger. with that. Um, but then also they were like, uh, Breath of the Wild is like, what? This combat focus, like, I guess there's exploration and stuff, and it's, it is really fun and like long, but it's not, definitely not a relaxing game. It's an exciting game. Full of adventure! Yeah. No! You want some dark oh my god, jack? everybody's trying to missile me. Probably doing it first. They're too cowardly to let me be first. 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this this race is way easier with this car. Cause like the slippery sewer paths. Hard to drive with the other cars, but this one. Like I'm I'm still fishtailing around and such. Woo! There we go. Nice. I was a full two seconds ahead. You know what's a relaxing game that never shows up in those lists? Cooking Mama. Wow! You've won a shiny new set of wheels! It can be stressful, but you just you're just doing some cooking. Yeah. This is one of the crowd's favorite events. This is all about kills, kills, yeah, and did true. I mention kills? <laughs> the crash count is what makes this the most watched event on the planet. Yeah, targets definitely. And see how many points you can I think that's my larger thing. Is like, you can. death is only a button click away. I know. Like yeah. The they're they're really like garbage content, honestly. Um. Ooh. I like those. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I, I find a lot of frustration with Stardew Valley's like. This is going to be a great race. Um, reputation as just a it's farming a simulator, start. which, it's not a simulator yeah, even. Yeah. I think that's the thing that also frustrates me is that a simulate a simulator is a very different thing from. Uh, something that uses farming as its main thing like there's not it's not like a super in-depth thing where you gotta like think about like soil and stuff or like look at uh, one game that I really want to stream at some point when I get a PC uh, power wash simulator that's super in-depth it goes into nozzles it goes into like trouble. different soaps and things like that's a simulation of what it's like to power wash whereas Stardew Valley it's not a simulation, it's an abstraction of running a farm in a small town. Like, there's a very, very large difference. If it's not, if it doesn't go in depth, I don't really consider it a simulation. Because, like, um, I don't know. A simulation can have game to it, but a simulation is not unto itself a game. Yeah. Yeah, farming is actually a very minor. Fa I think that's yeah the the huge thing. Right. Oh, I guess it's it's more minor than people lead it on. It's like yeah, it is like the easiest way to make money right off the bat and stuff. And like, it's certainly something you can focus on. But like, at, at a certain point in the game, you don't even focus on farming at all, right? You, like, basically just have it mostly automated. You do, like, a couple little things at the beginning of the day, and then you go and run and do other stuff. Right up the pipe. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's I feel the same way about Minecraft, right? It's like that's closer to a simulation game in a lot of ways, but there's a certain point where like what? the only thing really left to do is explore. Like once you've done, you've got all the farming set up, you got your your animals, you've got your base all done. It's like at a certain point, you're just going around, or you're just designing new buildings. And like, if there's nothing exciting out there for you to find, or there's um, and there's nothing exciting that you can think of to build. My it's kind of boring, which is why I've never gotten super into Minecraft, because I just can't ever think of cool things to build. I'll help out other people with them. And, uh... The... the... 
Gentlemen, start your I don't know. I've just seen everything that's out there in like Let's Plays and stuff. Whoop. Nah, dang it. I missed that. Hey, Loco. Yeah, I took a, a week off um, for the holidays because I, I went up to Seattle and I was like, I could bring stuff to stream, but nah, I'm just going to chill out. I'm just going to have a vacation here. Yeah, I did, and it was lovely. Now, I'll have another one in March. I'm probably going to do at least one smaller Please stream or get out of the on way. that trip. Well, like, end of February, beginning of March. For my birthday, which is March 3rd. Oh, okay. Cool. I appreciate the desire to watch me, at least. Yeah, I, I don't know, I our, it's like your guys' streams and um, evil's streams like line up in weird ways where I can usually rate to you guys, but you rarely rate to me, and often uh, your streams and my streams like overlap to the point where neither of us gets to watch the other. I'd, I'd certainly like to watch more streams, but I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done in the beginning of the year here. I got your back, Dad. Come on, come on, man. I gotta, I gotta update my uh, desktop setup for streaming. Gonna, gonna redraw my background, gonna redraw the overlays. And like, I'm actually gonna draw them this time, because Coco drew them last time, which was very helpful. But I wanna, I've, I've been trying to draw more, so it seems like it's time to do it. It's still gonna be like vapor wavy, but I'm gonna kind of change up how it is. I'm just gonna, you know, get a little inspiration from some stuff. Ooh. Come on. Ah. This is the thing I find very frustrating about this game: is if you like get stuck pointed right at a wall, you're kind of stuck just grinding against it. Unless you stop and back up, and it's like, I don't want to do that. It's a racing game. I want to keep moving. There shouldn't be something stopping my momentum. Ooh. Thanks, yeah. The overlays, um... Yeah, I, I think they'll work a little better when I get a, the gaming PC I'm saving up for. As it is now, they kind of like overload my encoding sometimes, which is not great, but, you know, that's just how it is. Um, yeah, it's, they're gonna not be hugely different, I'm just gonna, like, be changing up the colors, and I'm gonna be, uh, changing up the particular layout, probably do the chat, over. do the chat under the capture, dang it, only silver again. Alright, how much time do I have on this project? 24 minutes. Okay. Um, I am going to give this one more shot, and then I got to run off to record something for work. Ready to roll. Um. Yeah. I like the overlays I've got. I'm just my constant thing is like screen real estate. Like, how much do I let the chat take up? How much do I use for the game itself? The biggest um, feedback I've gotten is that I mean, people want the game capture to be a lot bigger, which is totally reasonable. Um, but also, you know, it's it's difficult to balance it all out. I don't know. I could maybe do the green screen thing if I like rearrange my studio because I have something that could effectively work as a green screen, but at the same time, I don't know if I like that look so much. I feel like I'm already pretty, uh, pretty neatly tucked away into the corner for the camera. Follow or get out of the way. Alright, alright. 
There's a specific thing I remember seeing in um the new FNAF. It's like one of the one of the screens in the game had a thing similar to my background, but the look of it I think really popped. So I'm gonna do something in similar colors. It's still gonna be like it'll probably be a different scheme, but like like a relative palette basically so you know that's that's my current current concept well we'll see how it goes Oops. God, yeah it's these big curves i just get stuck pointed straight at the wall and, like, I need to take out more of these guys if I want enough points for gold. But I can't... I can't get these tight curves. Ah. While also turboing so that I'm keeping a good enough pace to get enough laps. Come on, come on, oh, I'm three-way. I'm three-way, yeah, there we go. There we go, got it, okay. Whew. You're the man, Dak. Ah, oh, there we go. Canva. Okay, I will check out Canva. I have like Photoshop. Um, and there's always the classic. Uh, what's the one you use? Yeah, Paint Tool Sigh. I used that a lot when I used to do digital art. Um, I just never really got super into digital art, but... I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll... You know, I'm hoping to have it all set up before my Saturday stream, so that I can show it off then, but I got I got a lot of different stuff on my plate. Got, got my year-end movie reviews, which is gonna be like probably over an hour. I got a lot to go through, and I haven't even recorded it yet. Yeah, it can be very scary to um to get into digital art and not be sure which tablet to go with. I saw a company recently, I think it's called Artisol, A-R-T-I-S-U-L, and they have very affordable tablets. Um, I don't know how good they are. I, I definitely want to read some reviews and stuff, but I'd say just go for like, you know, like a $50 Wacom if you can find one. And you can get them used on eBay as well, like, they're very hardy devices, so the worst that'll happen is the cable's messed up, and the cables are pretty cheap, for the most part. Um, so like, yeah, just get one of those and try some stuff out. Uh, the way that I usually go is uh, sketching, sketching in pencil, and then taking a picture with my phone, um, and just like flattening the image as much as I can and then just going in going over it with digital which you could do with like a mouse if you learn how to use the pen tool in most programs but that's a whole other thing with vectoring all right I gotta run and record this so I will be our back with more Jack X in just a minute don't go anywhere don't touch that internet dial
Okay, I am back. Um... But, uh, yeah, with digital art, like, you don't have to go with the most expensive tablets. Just start, start with one that you can't afford. Get it used, because, you know, generally, you want to get new... You don't want to get new equipment when you're starting something out. Get it used, because A, it'll be more affordable, and B, um... Like, overall, it's just better for the environment than having to make new stuff. Uh... And then, yeah, you know, try it out with that, and then the if you, in this challenge, if you're, you're, if you're getting it, and you and start to recognize to win it all. what is holding you back, like, if rounds. you it's feel like you counts. can't do what you Look want to because of certain aspects of it, then upgrade, but until you hit the point where you can tell why you need a more expensive one, then you don't need the more expensive one yet, so... That, that's always my rule of thumb, is like, get the most affordable one that isn't like a cheap piece of crap, and then upgrade when you recognize why, why yours isn't so expensive. All right. We're going for the Grand Prix again, because I don't want to do Once the Battlefield one right now. I'll come back and do that later. As close as it gets. Yes, indeed. Uh, my marble is very far away. Hold on. Closer to qualifying for the big championship race. But that step could be right off a cliff. You hmm? 86 has never lost in this event before, and the crowd uh, is yeah. screaming Just for another Just put the lid on it and uh, leave it by it. the bread box for now. His His game I'll, I'll figure out solid. where to put it. Yeah. Well, he's a robot. Uh, no, you, it, you don't want it in the fridge, I don't think. Watch yourself out there, Jack. He can really light up a Where we keep our syrups. With his speed and his weapons. Let's melt this. Uh, sucker. okay. Yeah, that should be fine. And the... Wait for it. Go! Ah, dang it. That was too early. <sighs> okay. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Frick, this is a bad start, but see what I mean? If you try and like boost your way out of it, it just keeps you forced straight into the wall. It's so dumb. By a wide margin, my least favorite part about the uh, control scheme here. Or I guess that's more of a physics thing, but. All right. You gotta get first in at least two races to get this Grand Prix, by my understanding. So, I can get at least second in this one. I don't know about how well I'll do in the others. The big thing is that most of these races, it feels like you can't win it unless you're using the turbo, but using the turbo in a course with so many tight turns is really, really difficult. Also, there's not a lot of options to get turbo in this course. One last finish. Okay, let's see. Um Yeah. I'm not oh, doing baby, that great, but there's still a whole other lap to go, so. I think I can, I think I can manage that. Yeah. The big thing here is that all of the AI is so aggressive. Out of my way. I guess it would make sense based on the actual characters and the uh, style of what's going on here, but man, it's, it makes it real hard. Oh, that. And the cow goes wild. oh, oh, okay, I got first Another here. Lap done. Nope, nope, I got a whole other lap. But I, I'm i feeling better about it. Oh, I was feeling like I could have more trouble with this, but it's like we're pretty good. Yeah, I gotta have a red eco as defense. Alright, go over here. Ah, oh, no! Come on, come on. Get me back in. Thank you. Ooh. 
<laughs> this is very tricky. You gotta kinda just cut the corners as much as you can. Which is easier now that I know this course a little better, but... Man, a big ass. Alright, let's boost right in. Yeah, okay. Okay. Did pretty, pretty solid. No. That's not your Are spot. You ready for some Don't do it. And the light turns green. There we go. Here comes Hit the it, screamer. and you get a full boost. So like, yeah, it's like mandatory to uh, get that. Whoops. Uh-oh. I do not have... Oh, oh, come on! Slid a little. So I've missed out on the red. I thought I was headed straight for it. Yeah, this is a tricky track because it's sand. You slip all over in the sand. Oh, he didn't what know was what that? Did. Oh, okay. Well, right back at you, pal. No! Ah! Take him out, take him out. Hmm, not quite, huh? You feeling this? Nice! Awesome smash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> Oh, not another missile. Oh, somebody else got that one. Come on now, come on now. Keep going, keep going. Woof! Oh, no, 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 not the Peacemaker! Sorry, no! No! Boom, baby! That's nice. Another one bites the dust! Nice kill. Finished. Yes, double weapon. A difficult maneuver. But quite rewarding. The thing I need to keep remembering is to use my sub weapon um, before I pick up another sub weapon so that it doesn't get wasted. Like right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Oh no no no! What the? What is this? Ah! I'm slipping. I'm sliding. No 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 no! All right, give me the boost. Give me the boost. So many targets, so little time. Ah, no! Cool. Let me go, let me go. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, it's very exciting. Oof. Am I gonna lap somebody? That would be fun. That would make me feel very good. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm at a boost. I'm at a boost. It's alright. Got another one. one. Here's some hurt. Okay. Okay. Let's just boost right through. Yeah, and Jack has nice. You are 86 with an amazing win. The crowd is going wild, and you are 86 is last year's model. Where's oh. the garbage bin? I like that they give commentary specific to the standings in your actual race.
Here we go for the final. Go for it! Alright, and I had the easiest time on this track last time, so I should be able to just gold it easy. Um, but in any case, I already got the first two, so as long as I get at least second here, I should be fine, I think. Uh-oh, no boost. Get a little boost from power sliding, so I'm trying to do it more. That's gonna leave a mark. Yep, yep. Yeah, there we go. Come on now, come on now. Right, this is the one that's only a single lap, but it's a huge course. Oh, DTB! That was a little You just gotta assume you're gonna get Peacemaker a few times. Pretty much, yeah. Oh good, I got a shield, which will protect you from Peacemaker. Okay. Shielded. Uh. Uh. Oh. You greedy cat. She wants to snuggle because she is cold. Will you help a cold old beggar woman? Help an old street urchin with the cat. Yeah, not pig dipping. Pig dipping in the pig pond. Yeah. Hey, listen. At least we got some kind of personality to define, you know what I'm saying? Get clear. Pretty clear. Hey, do me a favor. Find that TikTok and post it in the Discord so that people know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, just put in the videos, show tell. Or the. I, I guess you can put in the. Uh, on air chat? Either of the. Uh, well, I guess videos will keep it more, uh. Inside. It's a hard turn right here, yup. Yeah. Wow! Yeah! Yeah, there is no issue coming in first on this track. I'm like a miles away from everybody. What you doing? Ooh, digging them claws. Mm. Ah! Stop it! Could be different. Yep. Oh. Ah! Dang it. That's gonna be the mark. God, I'm still like so far from the finish line. This race is so long. listening to Bim Bam. They have their, uh, at the beginning of every year, they take time to name the year. So last year was, um, 20 Big Dog Run. Uh, I believe. Uh, what was it? 20 Frankenstein Team become the monster that was a good one but um 20 20 funny is how 2020 started and then they became 20 honey back to business 
Uh, I fell asleep before I heard what they said to name this year, but one of them was just 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> there was one that was 20 whoop de doo who gives a shit? <laughs> what? How'd you get that? Burke! Nice. Perfect three, three race. Nasty. Nasty. <laughs> that was a big win for the newcomer, my fine feathered friend. Sure You're was. Have to pay more attention to this boy. I've done some digging, G baby, and I've uncovered. I don't more like how you be looking. It's got a very threatening aura. Manipulating the sport. You know, <laughs> I've been covering this sport for decades. Do you honestly decades. think you can come onto my show and make me look like a fool? Well, you. Whoa, he's going off on that little man. That little whatever he is. Ooh, new car. Was this one? You want a new car! The street grinder. Here comes another car for the winner! And the hammerhead. Two new ones. And now we got the green eco cup. Sparkish. Wasteland Jack. This track goes between Spargus City and the canyon. Use any jumps to your advantage. Remember, getting air means getting speed boosts. Watch out for rocks and other obstacles. If you want to win this race, you need to keep your car clean and screaming. All right. And let's slap on some more armor. And let's modify the parts. Front fenders. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like the outside ones. Rear fenders. Ooh, those are nice. Side panels. Yeah, coverage. Roof panel? Uh, yeah, I like that one. Hood. Nah, this one. We got the caboose. Uh, no, I like the classic spoiler. Hot Alright. Didn't get any accessories yet. Man, I want a new helmet or something. And of course, we're gonna respray. Do it. Let Can us you hear go. Those engines roar? It's a clean start. Ah, I hesitated. I didn't even grab a red. Come on. Knock it off. God. Aggressive. Going for butt. You know what I'm saying. Wait, whoa. Oh. Uh, I think that's my sub weapon. It's a new one. around this. Oh my god, I'm getting like no turbo. It's probably because I didn't upgrade my turbo at all on this one. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here's a little present for you. No thank you. I'm uh 
Uh, Jehovah's Witness, no presents. No presents, no birthdays, no holidays. Remember when my mom was a Jehovah's Witness, she got upset at me one time for even referencing it was the night before Christmas. Move over! And I did not understand why it mattered, and she had no good reason for why it mattered. And that's when I realized religion's kind of pointless. It's literally just a code of control over people, and they're if just trying to see it, how far they can go with it. My mother is no longer a Jehovah's Witness. I, I was very young when she was. I remember we went to like a couple Bible studies, basically, at people's houses. We went to some gathering um, at the Tacoma Dome, where they were using one of those Walmart pools for baptisms. People were like, basically dove in because it was so big. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I was baptized. I might have been during that period. Oh. I don't remember it, for sure. You're baptized, right? Yeah, that was a thing in, uh... Sex in the City, the part I was watching, is they... weren't sure if, uh... This is a real Miranda's... Bomber, Miranda's baby! Steve, her father... Uh, spoilers, I guess. Um, is like, come on, we gotta get him baptized. It's like, but we're not. Ca I'm not Catholic. I'm an atheist. And he's like, yeah, and I'm not really following Catholic. But it'll make my mom happy. And it's like, if you care, then it'll keep him out of hell. And if you don't care, yeah, there's a little water on the head. It's a little piggy dipper, dipping a little piggy in there, keep him out of hell. Let's have a blast! No! Oh, it's all symbolic. So it's messed up that that's something you have to do, and if you don't, God will just be like, well, didn't dip him in the water, so uh, straight to purgatory with him. They're going straight to the first layer of hell. It's like, really? Really, dude? Do you guys want, you guys like this guy? Just like, I'll just torture babies forever because, uh, didn't get dipped in the water. You didn't follow the rules, so, uh, tortured forever. Okay, now you pissed me off. It's like, dang, dude. Seems pretty cruel. Come on, now. Come on, now. Nope, nope. Yes. Fire in the hole. Oh, thank you. I had a shield. I cannot tell you how close we are. I think it's like halfway through the lap. And I can kind of see on the map, but I don't want to look away for too long. Fuck this, buddy. These guys. These guys are aggressive. I think that's where people would drop the bombs and such. Yeah, there's the one that you set off behind you and it shoots everything coming at it. Oh, baby. And it just goes in a straight line, so if you see it coming, it's not too big of an issue, but often you do not oh, see that it. Hurt. Oh! Zip, beep, beep, beep. Zoop, zap, the. have that on vinyl now. My dad and Christina say, like, it doesn't really matter what vinyl, and, like, you might damage your records or whatever, but they're like, they point out, it's like, Christina was like, I used, like, a school record player for a long time. It doesn't really matter. 
It's like, but I want to keep my, my vinyl stuff. I spent a lot of money on it. The winner crosses the finish line! Vinyls are pretty expensive. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you get them used, they're not as bad. I was looking, um... Show him what he's won, Becker! For, uh, Apostrophe by Frank, Frank Zappa. That is You're something I definitely want on vinyl, but... Jack. In addition it is. to season standings, you must earn a gold medal in it. each qualifying race in Hello, order to be Monarch invited to the big Grand Prix events. Glad to see you back. Mon Arch. Mon underscore Arch. Yeah, Frank Zappa's great. Apostrophe is my Welcome favorite album of his, so I'm uh, I'm looking for that one on vinyl. Next time I head up to Seattle in a couple months. Like, I'll be on the lookout for it. Well, G, um, I've seen Jack get out of some pretty tight scrapes. Come on. Do you whoop. really think Jack's got a chance? He'll soon be going up against the top So pros. beat the Grand Prix a little Nasty earlier. We're working on the, the green I'll eco the cup now. Word. Well, GT. Oops, sorry. That was more than one word. In uh -oh. Somebody's clanging and banging out the there. Apologies tougher, if it's polluting the audio. Doing some kind of construction. That's always the thing, is we have the window open because it's cold enough out that you'd rather do that than AC. And, whoa! He did, he did the big old middle finger. The bird flipped the bird. Ready to rumble. Oh, we're right into another race, eh? Oh, snap. There's one right there. I'm not wasting my time. Bye-bye. Tweet. Oh my god, I'm so Get excited clear. to get the Stardew Valley board game! It's on its way right now. I'm gonna do an unboxing and have that out probably later today. Oh, so I gotta record those movie reviews. Oh god, I got so many to do. Mine too. Thankfully, because halfway through the year I was reviewing all the movies because of quarantine and such, um, I'm not doing too bad on it, but, like, yeah, I, I got probably, like, 60-plus movies, and even if I only spend a couple minutes on each one, heads up! Up. Oh. Ooh, that one's mine. That one's mine. Oh, oh, no! I flipped! I flipped! Get back over. Get back over. I can't see. I can't see it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Give it to me. Bing! Oh, yeah! Who's got four? Ashlyn? How'd Ashlyn get four of them? No. Give it to me now! Give it to me now! It's a little early for Fred Durst, but uh, he is here nonetheless. Rock and roll! Get dead. Hey, have a have a heaping teaspoon of dead. Everybody eats when they come to my house, and today we're serving death. It's one of my favorite Fats Waller songs. Wait, Fats Waller? Might be Cab Calloway? Crap. Uh, but, Let me show you how yeah. It's, done. it's literally him just being like, have some potatoes, Mabel? Or like, it's all just like rhyming with foods. You just like, uh, I'm trying to remember any of them. <laughs> But it's just like. I'm gonna get them all! Uh. Eat some tennis, Dennis. But it's like food, not a sport. A sport. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's just like that for like several minutes, and then he's yeah. like, everybody eats when they come to my house. Yeah, I like that. I'm into that. What kind of guy are you? <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going for the one way out there. Nobody's going for it. I'm already... Oh, oh, no, actually, I'm tied with Ashlyn right now, so I gotta keep up the... Pit. Or, no, not Ashlyn. That's UR86. Yeah, you can't go in the water. Can't go piggy dipping. Don't worry. All of ours are ours. Yep. Oh, uh, that's another one. <laughs> I don't know. I precursor, precursor technology. 
It's no wonder people are afraid of precursor technology. Is that shit? No! Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, wait, I got that one. I got that one. Let me get the zips. Woo! Yeah, she got one out from under me earlier, so I don't even feel bad about it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sploosh. Three in the dip. What? Uh, uh, that one's mine. That one's mine. Don't even think about it. Don't. Whoa! I don't know what that was, but watch out now. Come on, come on. I hope this is exciting for y'all, because this is gonna be a stream for a while. I mean. I'm gonna do other games, for sure, and I'm gonna do probably that Banjo-Kazooie Marathon this month, if it goes to the, the Switch expansion pass. That's what I heard was happening, but I still don't have any confirmation on it. Um, but, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of racing games, because I've, I've, I've finally accepted the fact that I just really like racing games, and so I think they'll make good content. Whoop. Work thing. Hold up. All right. Chewy is hiring. Chewy is hiring at their Archibald Fulfillment Center. So if you guys want to work for Chewy, pack away dog treats, little little pig pawns for pig dipping, and uh, and you live near Archibald, wherever that is. I don't know. <sighs> They're kind of annoying clients for the most part, but whatever. Oh, did I get it? I think I got it. Yeah, nice. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that in a bit. No rush. Woo! A pig -a bye, bye. Let me up. Let me up. I am like ahead of the next closest, so I think I'm okay. There's only three seconds left, so there's no way they're gonna get over me, but... Yeah! Gold medal, baby! Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> when the AI takes over, it drives so much better. Well, I actually went right into a pull. Power slides. Hang time. I never have very good hang time, because I never feel like hitting the L2. Alright. Gold medal, baby. Nice, nice, nice. Show him what he's won, Pecker. We got a new one. We got Waterfront Loop and we got Crash City. It's Crash City. Is a circuit In race? This event, a Turbo you Dash? A power cell. Then turbo oh, yeah, you the Turbo up. Dash when the is a super fun. charged, you'll get points. And the cell will be fired off at the opponent in front of you. Um, you also get a mine in your red weapon slot to protect turbo, you from players coming from behind. The more power cells you collect and charge up, the more uh, points you'll get. On the turbo you'll get even. more points in later laps. So go get them, big boy. I don't think I got any new parts. So let's just go. Let's kick it. Yeah, these are fun. You just gotta grab those and hold the boost, and they'll automatically fire off. Ready, go! Ah, frick. Oh, 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 come on. Let me get that one. Let me get that one. Yeah, you just gotta survive until it hits 100%, and then it'll automatically go after whoever's in front of you. It's great. You don't have to worry about all the different meta nonsense. Oh, wait, this is the, the nighttime one, but now it's in daytime. That's cool. Plus, while you have it, you have a full boost, which is super fun. Ah, frick. Where's the next one? Cones! Uh, pylons are called sometimes. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, I think it's not even based on who gets first, but who is able to shoot off the most. So I'm pretty good at these ones. All you have to do is hold the turbo, which I'm doing anyways. And it means I don't have to worry about the bumper. At all. Because it just... The turbo is the fire. She's scraping. Oh, 
getting burned. And when you get them, it gives you a uh, sub weapon, I think. Or maybe it's when you fire them off, you get a sub weapon. I don't know, because I'm not picking up any red eco pills or whatever they are. Yeah, no, when you fire it off, you get a sub weapon, which you can use to block um, everybody else doing their nonsense. Give my fender. Ah! Right, so yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I remember one of the things was get some hammy, Sammy. It's great. Just like a little thing of like, hey, you come here, you eat. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Cat Calloway. Now that I'm thinking about it. How's that? It's not his name, is it? What's his name? Something. Cab it's not Cab Calloway. It's something Calloway for sure. And I'm pretty sure it's Bono, right? I, no I think that was like the big thing. Like, oh, Bono's voicing him. It's like, great. He doesn't sound like a lion. You know who I would have preferred? I don't know. Someone who could sound like a lion? Fred Tattashore, maybe? Clay Calloway. Clay Calloway. Cab Calloway is very good. Liz Calloway did the voice of Kiara in Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Who are all these Calloways? How about they cal away from me? <laughs> really? Like the original, oh, like the singing voice for Jasmine, or just, okay. That's a good gig, if you can be a singing voice, because then it's like, you get paid pretty good still. For you. And you get to do all, you don't have to work all that much. That's what I call racing. Rebecca Shoiket. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. It's also Koizumi Evans. You've won a front fender. Yeah, the big. Th I remember the big thing is that Twilight is the only one who's a LA actor, so they couldn't get her for the music, really. Even though, I mean, it's not like she couldn't sing. Just have to learn it. It's really annoying. It's, it's not even that big, and like if you look it up, like if you can tell what letter it's supposed to be, you can look up just that letter and see what it means, but yeah, it's really frustrating. All right, I gotta take another break, go record a couple things, hit up the bathroom and all that, so go hydrate and everything. But whatever you do, don't touch that internet dial, because I'll be our back with more Jack X in just a minute. Okay, okay, see y'all. In just a second, one sec.
Hey, everybody, I have returned. Got all my work stuff done there. Uh, we'll go probably another half hour here, keeping it to a fairly short stream. I got a lot of other stuff to do today. Um, let's do the waterfront loop. <clears throat> this is a time challenge. I know you can milk a ton of speed out of your ride, so get out there and rock and roll. The faster times will be Me. all that people remember. Push there are no points so I can for see it a little better. Okay, and yeah, let's tune. Tune it to the tune of more art. <laughs> Front fenders, what we got? Ooh, I like those. Ceramic. I don't think ceramic is the right thing to have on a battle mobile. But okay. You ready to see some real action? Ready, go! Hang on, Daxter! Heck yeah. My Dex facts her there. Could be. Do you know his name? Dex to what? <laughs> Don't worry, no one loves him enough. That's why they named you Joe Dirt! That's that's why you named that by the way. Yeah. I know, that's the, that's his whole thing, is that he's like super optimistic, even though like everyone's always crapping on him in life. But he's like, you know what, I still gotta have a good attitude about it. That's why I like Joe Dirt, okay? Yeah, it gets kind of gross sometimes, but you know what, he's got good attitude. And that's something we need nowadays. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's like the first line in the entire movie. There's a lot of funnier jokes, too. <laughs> the one that uh, my friends always quote was like, What is, did your mother sew? Bang! Have a sew that! <laughs> or, uh, you said it to me again, I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. This is Christopher Walken. Well, that, he's saying it to like a random like fire extinguisher on the wall, because <laughs> he's like a guy who's like in the Midwest, clearly like a mobster hiding out. He's like, "Hey, I'm from Iowa, born and raised." <laughs> it's like, "All right, it sounds like you're from New York or something." It's like, "Nah." One lap. Uh, 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 went to Gary, Indiana one time. About it. It's a good move. It's certainly, it's like certainly Happy Madison, but it was in that point, like, where they were still trying, you know? So, like, it's not quite Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, necessarily. It's like, Big Daddy levels. It, do, it doesn't make you feel as much. Um, but you know what? Joe Dirt is he, he carries that movie. And then they made a sequel. I never saw it. And maybe it's good. I don't know. Let me know in chat. What do you think? Joe Dirt 2? Any good? I mean, I'll watch it. At some point, I'm sure. Yeah, this is one of the good ones. It's like a five. Ugh, five second. Oh, uh, I don't think I'm gonna make the gold. To be quite frank with myself. Who's Steve? You have a drink named Steve. I just love her delivery on that. Remember that? It was in uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. When she's just like trying to, to be a distraction, telling stupid old jokes. And she's just like, Grasshopper walks into a bar and they're like, hey, she's like, you have a drink in deep. The delivery really made. Uh, that's the thing, is you can say old, stupid, worn out jokes, but if you like bring something fun to the, del the delivery, like Dan Avedan, he'll always do those, but he'll be like, 
Two nuts walk by a pot. One was a salty. Man, I did terrible on that one. Let me give that another shot. Last one in is a rotten pecker egg. Does he do egg? All right, here we go. I'm not comfortable with that, sir. No. No. The red ones are the ones I want. The pink are pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty rare because they're 10 seconds. But the pink are, like, pretty good. And they're more common. I think, well... I think the red ones are supposed to be yellow. Yeah, see, like that. It's supposed to be like the eco colors. Oh. The Jack and Baxter. Well, they st the different colors of eco didn't matter as much in the sequels. They were like super important in the first game, and then they're like, actually, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like they had a fun thing going on, and then they're like, let's just make a worse GTA. And then the third one was like, let's make that one kind of fun. Yeah. And they succeeded in that. Like, the third one's pretty good. That friggin' first phase of the last boss is utter bullshit. But that aside, the rest of that game is pretty fun. Ooh, oh, oh, oh! Got about a minute five on each lap if you want to get the gold. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Listen. Listen to my words. Woo! I have several of them. One on each elbow. Uh, one at each knee. And maybe a few in other places I won't be talking about. So a little later. What is that? One uh, I'm trying to remember. That's definitely an impression of someone. I think that's John Carson, maybe? I know, right? He used to be like the biggest dude ever. He was like the Colbert of his day. Um, but like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he actually sounded like. Because I I'm, I'm mostly only heard him through impressions. Or what? Maybe it's Ignick. It's not Tom Brokaw, because that's the one who does his elbows real small. Sounds like he just ate a bunch of marshmallows. Again, way before my time, so I don't know how accurate that is. Although, most cartoon voices, if you pay attention, are just really bad impressions of, like, old celebrities slash, like, actors. Like, uh, you remember the friggin', uh, yeah, yeah, kind of guy, the guy who ran the candy bar in, uh, Jim Neutron. You're like, well, isn't that just the best? Well, that was Billy West doing an impression of, um, the grandpa, Grandpa Munster. In the Munsters. Um. You know, anytime there's Billy West, he'll always do some Three Stooges business in there. Because he's just, like, such a stu He's such a big fan of the Stooges that he was actually a consultant on the Three Stooges movie they made in, like, 2010. And he, he talked about it, how, like, um... And they'd all go off running off screen, right? They do that a lot. But if you pay attention, Curly is always, like, slower. Right? And I was like, wait for me! And, right? Uh, the reason is because in real life, when he was 14, he shot himself in the foot <laughs> on accident with a rifle. So he actually did have a disability that made him slower. And so he made sure that Will Sasso, playing Curly, uh, knew to do that They're to make more accurate. And ready to rock. Yeah, and then if you hear, like, Ren and Stimpy... Well, that's just, that's just uh, an impression of Larry from the Three Stooges. Uh, Stimpy. Yeah. Now it's gross. It's gross and it's made by a pedophile. Pedophile? I don't know. He's definitely a sexual harasser, maybe a sexual assaulter. 
I don't know the exact details because I've avoided them, but it was like a big controversy because they made like a, a super congratulatory documentary about the making of the show. And they were doing it, and they were just like, we're gonna remake the show, and it's like, but John Kay's a pile of crap. And it's like, yeah, it is super inspiring to see someone going off model and stuff, but like, hey, you know who else did that? Tex Avery! And he was probably a, a, well, okay, he was probably also a garbage man, but that's just because, you know, it's part of the times he lived in. John Kay had no excuse, it was the 90s. Although, I think it was funny, um, because I'm always scrounging for clips from when Billy West was on Howard Stern. That was, like, kind of how he got his start, it was, like, he did voiceover stuff, obviously, but then, like... He was one of the um, co-hosts on Howard Stern, and he'd always be doing impressions and stuff and messing with guests. Uh, you know, whatever bits. But it's kind of hard to find clips of him. But there's uh, one episode where they had John Kay on, and John Kay is just like, Yeah, when I said I was going to walk off if they didn't give me what I wanted... I figured Billy and them were gonna come with me to, like, give us some power, but instead, Billy was like, I need the paycheck. <laughs> so I was like, listen, you made that decision on your own. It's like when the nostalgia critic, after To Boldly Flee, was like, yeah, uh, we're gonna, we're ending the nostalgia critic and we're all gonna end all of our series, right? And it's like, what? You didn't tell us any of that, guy. We didn't even know you were going to end the Nostalgia Critic with this. That's a, a huge reveal that's going to affect all of our livelihoods because most people come to the site for your stupid show. And he was like, oh, well, I guess I didn't know you guys as well as... That was really the big thing with all of that. Consistently, is like, he just clearly didn't know about any of them because he didn't really have any interest in learning anything about them, despite them, you know contributing to his livelihood for free that's still what blows my mind i thought they were getting something some kind of pay from that but no they were doing that for free and getting treated like absolute crap like even if they were being employed that wouldn't have been okay and they were doing it for free are you out of your mind god mike mashad is such a garbage human doug uh, yeah, that's the CEO. He owns the rights to the Nostalgia Critic and stuff. He thinks he's, like, a businessman, but all he does is, like, screw around on Xbox all day. Uh, he specifically was like, we don't need to go to conventions because there's no good marketing appeal to it. And it's like, what? Are you out of your mind? You understand that, like, conventions are the biggest place for, for content creators to network, right? Like, it's a huge, huge marketing opportunity. And it's a very affordable one because Doug at the time was so big that he could have gotten he could have gotten paid to appear. But instead they were like, no. No, we're just not gonna. It was really because Mashad just didn't like doing them. And they also got rid of Mike Ellis because I he was like, hey, maybe we should do better and improve ourselves as a company. And Mashad was like, no. Oh! No, we're not gonna do that. No! So they did. So I don't know if Ellis left or Mashad kicked him out or what. Okay, I'm just gonna restart this. I'm way behind. It's a clean start. There we go. That's what I need. Now I'm ahead. Yeah, the history of Channel Awesome is so fascinating and just how poorly managed it was. Yet it still managed to survive for so long. Like, they're still doing stuff, but it's basically just Nostalgia Critic at this point. Like, the thing is, I think a big part of it is Blip TV. A lot of people forget about Blip.TV, but that was, like, the hosting platform. It was a competitor to YouTube. And that's where the Nostalgia Critic hosted his stuff, because they were way more lenient about copyright. Um, but... And so, like, they were huge. They were, like, the main thing on Blip TV. And so Doug got real comfortable with that fact. So when Blip.TV went under and they had to pivot to YouTube, he was just not prepared for it. Their shit kept getting taken down, demonetized. And they were just like, 
what do we do? We can't get in contact with YouTube. And it's like, yeah, because you guys have like 300,000 subscribers, which is like a pittance. Oh, that was, that was a good little hook I did right there. Doing pretty decent at this. I don't know. I, that's the thing is like for a long time my big goal was to make a series that could be picked up for Channel Awesome. And yeah, it wasn't until years later of failing to do that because I was lazy that I found out it wouldn't have even been worth it because it wasn't a job. Like you can get money out of ad revenue, I guess, or like Patreon now is the thing. It has been for like a decade. Ooh. I remember that was how I found out about Patreon was because of Channel Awesome and everybody, it was in that period when uh, Patreon was still new so every ad for no! uh, somebody's Patreon had to include what is Patreon and like had to explain the concept and some people did it better than others. One last finish. Um, yeah, similar to like the Geek Nights joke about how they have to put out their old business cards sometimes, and they say on the back, like, what's a podcast? How do I listen to podcasts? Because <laughs> the Geek Nights were early on the podcast game. Um, like, the, like, super early. Whoops. Uh... In the days where you would basically, like, listen to it online... So, um, yeah, that was an interesting time, too. Back when podcasts were, like, weird, like, radio shows that would be, like, 30 minutes. I remember reading Podcasting for Dummies, and, like, their idea of podcasts is so different from what they are now, where everything's, like, an hour-long radio show slash audio drama. It's just, like, talk radio that you download, it's so, so weird. I don't know. I would like to turn my stream into something kind of like that. Just like basically like a talk radio show with segments. I don't know. It'd have to t I'll, I'll work on that as I'm working on uh, my new graphics and stuff, I think. I'm just rethinking that because especially if I'm going to be doing racing games now which don't always have a lot you don't always have a lot to say because it's a lot more uh, repetitive stuff I think now would be a good time to pivot to that as well so I can still focus on the game sometime I don't know it'd be good to have a co-host I'd like to get Andrew back on it but he's just uh, not able to do it consistently because of various mental health stuff that saps his energy pretty hard so I don't know. I like Christian Hansen, but his life is just too chaotic. And he, nothing's going on consistently with him, so I can't, can't really get him committed to that. Oh my god, I'm so far away from the end. What's going on? I think I got all the good ones at the in the first lap. Ah, this is what. Cause it, why is it? Why does it have the sign up there? Bad design. Bad design. Bad race design. You gotta put the sign where you turn, not like where it's visible from where you turn. Got him. Ugh. I did so good on that first lap. I finished in like 50 seconds. I don't know what's up. All right, let's try a different one. I'm not, I'm not making it happen with this. Daddy, I oh. want a race. They need me out there. I can win it all. Oh no, not this again, Clara. You're not racing. It's much too dangerous. But Forget Daddy, about I Ashlyn. Do it. I can race better she doesn't than have any a dad. Guys, you know I can. Yes, Her dad's I, dead. I mean, no, you can't. Well, I mean, yes, you can, but that's not the point. I won't have it. A woman's place is in the garage fixing cars. You can't protect me forever. Someday I'll I like show you. I like that subversion. Not today you won't. No Although racing. it showcases That's that it doesn't matter what you're saying it for. My... It's still crap. I'm not your little girl anymore. You'll see. 
Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. No. I'm always fine. Look, you boys have what it takes to win out there. Uh, he's wearing Thanks, pants. Baby. I meant the Still car. can't get used to that. Beaut. Free floating VTS, Dexter in pants. Super headers, I appreciate that it's not just a, a hole for his tail nice. either. There's but like a little bit of short them, leg. To modify your ride as often as possible. Maybe if you ask nicely, I'll install stuff. Deal. That's also, he could have nice. gotten pants at any point. I mean, it People can make be. pants. Nicer. Will you do it already? Hi, I'm a little rusty with the wrench, but I'll see you so in your rude. vehicles in tip-top so shape. Mad. Make repairs after races. Everybody in these sure games rude as heck. Best purring yeah. vehicle on the circuit. And Jack, we'll talk about nice later. Video game guy. I don't like the the eyes she was giving him there. <laughs> He Another would too. To He's no! the jungle here can get stretchy tight, guy. So Don't forget to use a weapon when you have it. If you hesitate, yes, correct. you'll miss chances. You use it or lose it, I say. Show me how it's done. Let's no. No, I want I want to improve my engine. So let's just let's save a little bit. Anything new? Nope. All right. Let's give it a shot. It's another high speed. Let's get a bit better. And the light turns green! Ah. Too early. Hey! Crazy Girl Headquarters. Good to see you back. Not going for much longer on this stream, unfortunately, but... I got through the Grand Prix. We're on the Green Eco Cup now. Uh, it's been pretty good. I switched over to, I think this is the Street Grinder, and I've been upgrading this. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Woo! Oh, jeez. Oh, that almost killed me. Hammerhead. I think I have the hammerhead. I'll switch over to that after this. No! Ah, crap. Too slow on the block. Come on, boom. Boom jams. Let's do it. Okay, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, you're edge. Edge. Okay. One lap finish. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Ooh. Do 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 do. This way. Here's a little fine to ah, go. Right. Now that's a move my old man would have done. Oh, okay. Rude. Fresh lore. Straight from the farm. That wasn't even me. But it worked out, yeah. Oh, 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 I got turned around. I looked at the chat for a second, and it was my downfall. They are pushing the limits out there. Woo. Sick illumination. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Heck yeah. 
American Wasteland, right? They haven't made a new Tony Hawk game in a long time. Yeah, and it, uh, from what I hear, it wasn't very good because it was Ubisoft. Maybe doing bad. Signature vehicle, right. Do, 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 do. All right, let's try out the Look at those shiny new wheels you've just won. A new one in Crash City. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. This is a tough track check. A wise man once said, if one waits to see every target before they fire, then it's already too late. Remember your instincts, Jack, and keep your head about you. Use the eco on the track whenever you okay. can, or you're wasting it. It's there for a Not reason. By the body punch. Every bit. Nope. Spargus. I think I like the Spargus parts the best. Correct. Three finals. Uh, yeah, I like it open. Ooh, yes. Give me that Mad Max business. Eco Ultra Light. Ooh. And of course, we gotta respray it. Accessories. All right, let you do it. Who's gonna rule the roost out there? And the light turns green. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yes, correct. Oh yeah, this is the one that's like these big sweeping curves for the most part, right? Uh, I guess it's like one big old loop blue. Oh, not very long track. One of the four. Races are actually not very hard overall. Uh, that ice one gave me a lot of trouble because he was, he was maneuvering in the pain. Here's a present. I wish I could play Boonhopper in this one. That'd be fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Move that pile of junk. It is race. Yeah, you have been correct so far. That's very true. I, I certainly trust your opinion on it. That's the one that's more one for It's you. just the, the slightly better, um, like, 
standard gun, basically. But you have to, like, uh, lift and release. Ugh. No! God damn it, that's the fucking most annoying shit. When you get stuck on a goddamn wall, pointing straight at it, and the only thing you can do is just reverse out of it. I got you if you try and boost your way out of it, it just slaps you against the wall harder. Well, I still got the gold, so it's all copacetic, baby. All right, one more race, and then I'm gonna call it for today. Um, if you have anybody to raid over to, let me know, and I will I'll queue it up. Something about this whole setup doesn't seem right. We're missing something important. But at least we're winning races. That's good. Good. Listen, Rain Baby, we've been chased, attacked, shot oh, at, poisoned, and blown up. How could it get any worse? Hello, Ankle Biters. It's oh, worse. snap! That show it's Cleaver. G Wiz Blitz told me I could find you here. Listen up, Yabbers. You embarrassed Where? me on the track before, but this sure time I that. aim to no? even the score. Dude, I think that it was might not so have been so adventure. red last time. Available in the stores now. I've been waiting a long time to teach you Ooh. short puppies a lesson. I'll see you on the track, nippers. All right. Oh, new car. Who's this? Little doom buggy? Look what he's won, Johnny. The fire. A new so car. Dying. This wastelander is going to waste you. All right, yeah, let's do one more. Uh, not nah, well. Hey, yeah, let's go with that. This is another frag fest, so keep your wheels rolling and your guns. Wait, no, 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 I don't want the Don't fire, let the cheap cherries right. get into position. The hammerhead. Keep them guessing. Swoop in from above. Geek etiquette. Okay. <laughs> Will do. Sport. Let me just upgrade here, and then we'll get into it. Go. Well, go after Sig. We we Yeah. Ah, I'm taking hits. Yep, sure are, bud. Lead, follow, or get out of the way. What you say? Oh, yes, he is. Yes, you are. Oh, what a Dang, I'm not good at these death matches. Oh, oh, I like the artifact ones, because then you can basically avoid everybody. I got more where that came from. These, it's like you have to aim and stuff. I'm not into that. I'm a big target. Ugh. What did it do? Out of racket, pepper. Bubba cry. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I see Cleaver over here trying to hide. I right, healed back up. Nope. Nice takeout. Ugh. Yeah, I'm real bad at these ones. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like having to do this. I like going fast. See ya, like boy. Driving. I don't like having to maneuver my way back around to point at somebody and then hopefully hit them enough to kill them. I'm getting angry now. It's not fun.
This soul pump is gonna hurt you good. Want some more? I've got a couple of guns. Whoa! I've never seen anything like this. Hello, small cat. What is your plan? What are you plotting? Yeah, I'm barely gonna make it to the middle. Ooh, he got his feathers the middle of the board on this one. Oh yeah, that had to hurt. Shall not. Whoop. There's something. All right. You didn't lay a glove on me. All right, I got you are 87. I might be able to do okay here. I was thinking I'm gonna get first, but I should probably I get bronze. Get clear. Had me. You didn't even have your car. Oh, Granny shifted and said double clutching like you know you should. Going through the turn so slow or whatever. What you need to realize is what every racer knows. And whether you win by an inch or a mile, winning is winning. That's gonna leave a mile. No, no, of course not. I'm all looking to keep this. No! God damn it. That's always the thing, is I weaken them up and then somebody else steals it. Like, it doesn't matter how good I'm doing, because somebody else is going to steal my kill. And I get fourth. Whatever. Thanks for watching, everybody. Follow, subscribe. Um, use your Twitch Prime sub. Uh, check out my Twitter, YouTube, all of that. I'm going to be putting out my year-end movie reviews, which is going to be all the movies I saw this year that I didn't already do reviews for. An unboxing of the Stardew Valley board game should be going up later today or tomorrow. All that stuff, check it out. And, yeah, I'll be back on Thursday with more Jack X. Thanks for watching. And, hey, no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right, we're going to go right over to Geek Etiquette. Here we go. Okay, let them know I sent you. Have a great rest of your week. See y'all on Thursday. Okay, goodbye. 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 Yeah.